What's up, peeps? My peeps here. Today I have a sub -ohm tank. Yes, a sub -ohm tank that I've reviewed now for the third time. Yeah, baby. It's the Falcon Horizon Tech Artisan Edition Resin. There you go. So, yeah, some new colors. There you go. There's one of them right there. This one here is like a... Come on, focus, baby. Like a camo blue white thingy going on there. And I got another one here. You guys to see? Yes, I got the blue. And I got both of the coils provided. I have the triple coil in here. My mind went blank. And an M2 coil in here. So, let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. I'll show you guys what you get. All the colors will come back. We'll vape on both of these. And I'll give you guys my thoughts on the Artisan Edition Resin Falcon Horizon Tank. tank. And here's the packaging. The Horizon Tech Falcon Resin Artisan Edition comes in and inside the packaging you get o-rings a spare coil a spare glass which will hold five mls of e-liquid and your falcon tank with the bubble glass seven mls of e-liquid and here are all the different colors that it comes in all right guys and here's a look at that falcon resin artisan edition tank so basically stats on the tank is the same as the previous resin these are just different types of resin called an artisan collection i guess yeah 24 millimeter where it's stainless steel right at the resin it's going to be 25 millimeter bubble gloss like i said 7 ml ce liquid drip tip is a 510 drip tip and there's your top fill not even a half a turn and it opens up All right here is the spare coil that is provided this one here is the m2 mesh coil this one was the the coil that came in the the previous falcon tank resin edition and here is their new coil. This one is pre-installed in the tank. Triple mesh coil. As they're calling it the M triple. 0.2 resistance. Up to 95 watts. And a little size comparison between the two coils. So you get an idea. So obviously when you have this coil inside the tank. It's not going to be that full uh, 5 ml or 7 ml. As you can see takes up more room inside your tank so you're looking at minus at least one ml so you're looking at four mls with the straight glass and six mls around there with the bubble glass using this coil and then the stats will be five and seven with this coil now cotton is using in that triple coil they're calling it an absorbent cotton all right they gave me some samples here to check out so i'll pull it out see that it says absorbent cotton I, th I would think that all cotton is absorbent, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is their cotton that they gave. Um, it, it feels like cotton to me. So yeah, that's the cotton. Alright guys, and that was the Falcon Artisan Edition. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close of... Yeah, you guys know, the Artisan Edition Resin Horizon. Long name in that one, yeah. We just want to know what your thoughts are, Mike. All right, I'll give them to you right now. So, Horizon Tech has come out with a triple coil. A triple mesh. Yes, they have. And they're not the first, they're the second to come out with it because we know that Freemax came out with the first triple mesh coil. So, Mike, I'm not going to go into... Which one I think is better because I don't have the triple coils um, all out and I can't do a comparison and I can't remember how the flavor, I know the flavor was good on it, but I can't tell which one is better. You guys got to understand that. But what I can do is tell you which I like better. The M2 coil, which is a single mesh coil or the M M3 or M triple. And I got the same liquid in both. All right. So, uh... Where do we begin on this one? We begin by vaping them. So what I'll do is, I'll vape the M2 first. I have to say, this M2 coil, the mesh coil, and the M2 has wood pulp, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, mesh, coil, wood pulp, and cotton. All right, it's a 0.16 resistance, 70 to 80 watts. I'm vaping it at. 75 watts and I have it on this uh, new device from artery. Yep, it's called the hive 200 The flavor is unbelievable 
has to do with the wood pulp and the mesh. It's just a great combination between the two. So, triple coil right here, triple mesh. Absorbent cotton, they're calling it. I don't know. What's the difference? Cotton. They're calling it absorbent cotton. All right, no wood pulp or no flax papers or none of that stuff in this coil here. Straight up cotton or absorbent cotton and triple mesh. That's a vape. Same liquid. Oh, yeah. V-Boy. I got this one at 95 watts. And it's reading it at a point two two. Now, I can tell you this much. Airflow-wise, smoother with the triple over the single. All right, you get a smoother airflow. A warmer vape, but, there's a big but. Flavor, I have to still give it to the M2. For me, the M2 has better flavor than the triple, but, doesn't mean the triple doesn't have good flavor. The flavor is amazing off it. But with this M2 coil, I don't know. It's leaving this taste in my mouth like the liquid. You know what I'm saying? Even though, and I'm not saying there's e-liquid splattered in my mouth from the tank. It's not, no spit back. But it's leaving that taste of it. That strawberry that I have inside here. Oh, it's a size strawberry inside here. And oh... Don't get me wrong, the triple coil is badass, but yeah, that M2 coil, in my opinion, you're going to get better flavor, but if you want a combination of very, very, very good flavor and a lot of vapor, the triple coil is awesome. Smooth airflow. Ooh, knock, almost knock stuff down there. So anyway, Mike, uh, what do you think? What's the outcome of this? It's a win-win. You get both coils. They're both awesome coils. You get the M2 coil, which is a flavor machine, in my opinion. And you get the triple coil, which is flavor and cloud production. If you want to blow some clouds, you want your lungs to fill up with vapor, yeah, that triple coil is awesome. But if you're just strictly a flavor person don't care a lot about lots of uh what do you call it clouds or that smoothness of airflow you get from the triple you'll love this m2 mesh coil and in my previous review for the regular resin tanks i raved about this m2 it's awesome delicious that's it i pretty much covered it there's nothing really more to say build quality on these tanks are awesome like i said in the up and close when you're using the triple coil, you're going to have less liquid capacity than what is stated on the packaging. It is a bigger coil. All right. So you're looking at, I'm trying to calculate it, probably one ml. People, uh, that guy, there's that guy. Why are you saying ml? Say milliliters. No, I want to say ml. It's my channel. So anyway, uh, yeah, you get at least one ml less on each one of these. You don't, um, glass wise, you know, when you're using your triple core coil. So, uh, Awesome tank. There's not really much else to say. 30 bucks around there. That's the price that's going to be. I haven't found any links yet, but when I do, I'll add them down below in the description. All right. So, yeah, pretty much a win here. The colors are pretty nice. You guys are going to like these colors. They're nice colors. Uh, the only thing, like I stated in my previous video about the tank, the bubble glass seems a little bit too fat. Kind of wish it was maybe a little taller, a little thinner, and a shorter drip tip. Would have been nicer, but still, they're just gorgeous. I like this blue one. This blue one, yeah, I really like the way this one looks. This one's nice. Camel one is nice and everything. It's just a little bit too bright for me, but I had to show this one. I'll throw it on the V-Boy. just looks sick. So there you go. In the description below, a link to Horizon Tech's website, links to whoever's selling these, and all of my links are down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, and remember, keep on vaping.